My friends, I hope you're smiling this morning. I love whenever somebody smiles at me because that smile helps me to smile back at them and that kind of radiates out in a nice big circle and just keeps going and going. Like if I smile at somebody, I'm really hoping that that turns around and has a butterfly effect and that they smile at somebody else. Sometimes whenever I go places and I see like a little bit of trash on the floor or something like that that just needs cleaned up, I'll, I'll do what I can to try to help because I feel like people that are in a, a job, like especially at a gas station where people are just kind of constantly throwing stuff like they don't care where, um, it feels like, you know, the guy that has to clean all that stuff up must be like, oh my goodness, I, like, I imagine in, in my head that he's thinking, I wish I didn't have to do this, that I didn't have to clean up after other people. So I always do my best to clean up after myself um, when I'm in a public place. Hopefully I'll learn to do that a little bit better at home, right? So my, my wife doesn't have to pick up after me. But uh, I, I just assume that the less that another person has to uh, pick up after me, the better. And if I can help them uh, make their day a little brighter by you know, adding some assistance, then that's great. And a lot of times that assistance comes in just giving that smile. Whenever my kids are smiling, man, it makes me smile. Like if my kids are distraught, and confused, or upset, like in exile, it makes me feel like confused and it makes me feel sad. I don't know how to help, you know, and it makes me feel like I'm in exile right there with them. I mean, why would I want to be anywhere else though, right? I mean, why would I want to be any place except where my children are? And if my children don't feel welcome someplace, why would I want to go there, right? I don't want to be someplace where my kids aren't welcome. We, uh, a lot of times we'll watch movies as a family. That's an, one of the things that my kids really enjoy is a little time on the couch with mom and dad just watching a movie. And sometimes we'll watch a show that's been recommended to us by a friend. And we've begun to uh, realize that we have to ask a few more questions before we just sit down and watch any random recommended show. Because what's happened in the past is somebody will say, oh, you got to watch this. It's amazing. It's a fantastic storyline and all that. So we take their advice and we sit down and we start watching the show with the kids. And whoa, something happens. And for sure, we didn't want to see it. And now we've got to do all the damage control uh, from, from the fallout of the, of the movie. So we ask our friends, we're like, hey, you know, we sat down to watch the movie that you so graciously recommended. And um, this happened. They're like, oh, for sure you wouldn't want to watch that with your, with your kids. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I'm thinking, why would I want to watch anything that my kids wouldn't be able to see? You know, I don't, I don't want to be where my kids aren't. I want to be where my kids are. And regardless of how far they might fall in this world, I would want to be able to be right there, right by their side. So when they call out, when they finally call out for help, I'm, I'm right there immediately ready to help them. And I, I want to be so close. But, you know, obviously I'm limited in my abilities and my capacity. I, I may not always be able to help them completely. But our Father in Heaven, our Creator, He's not limited. He has no limitations on His ability or His resources. And thus, He is the one in whom we can completely place our trust. If we want to trust someone, they have to have some qualities so that we can fully be assured of our trust in them. Qualities like compassion, they have to be sympathetic. You know, they have to be loving for sure. In, in addition to somebody loving, they also need to not overlook our wishes. They really need to have our concern in their mind. I was thinking about the story from uh, last week's Torah portion where Abraham sends his servant Eliezer to go find a wife for his son Isaac. And Abraham trusts in Eliezer. He sends him and he is met with success. But Eliezer knows that he's a man and he may not have full capacity. So he asks Abraham, he's like, hey, what if I'm not successful? And Abraham also realizes that Eliezer does not have um, full capacity for every potential issue that might come. So he says, you know what, if it's, if it's unsuccessful, I release you from this, from this vow. But obviously, they both trust in the Creator and they are 
successful in finding that wife for Isaac. It's an amazingly romantic story. But what I want to get at is the trust factor. You know, the person that we put our trust in needs to be capable. And the other thing is, they have to know what is inherently good for you. If you're going to put your trust in someone, you need to realize that they have your best at heart and that they know what is absolutely best. We like to think that we know the best for our kids, and often we do. We do have more wisdom and more knowledge than our children. And I want them to trust me, of course. But I also know that at some point, they may run into something where I do not have full wisdom. I don't have full capacity. I don't have the resources. I don't have the strength. I don't have the wisdom. And God willing, they will begin to transfer their trust from me to the one who really does have all of that stuff. Because to Hashem belongs the greatness, the might, the splendor, the triumph, the majesty. All of that is His, and only He can solve all of our issues. So it's kind of like I would go any place with my kids, right? To be with my kids, I would go anywhere. So to Hashem is in our midst. That's where He wants to be. He created us because... He had a bunch of hugs and kisses for us and he wants to give them to somebody and here we are. That's why you're created, to enjoy those hugs and those kisses. For sure, I, a man, am going to end up lacking for my kids at some point. But the guardian of Israel never slumbers nor sleeps and he's completely capable. He's, He's right there with you whenever you call. He's loving, he's capable, he's compassionate. And amazingly, (laughs) whether we deserve it or not, (laughs) he's completely, constantly, endlessly generous and kind. Doesn't that make you smile? He's good to all and his mercy is on all of his creatures. Everything that he made, he displays mercy to and we can trust in him. And once we realize how good he is, how capable he is, how compassionate he is, and how much he's like right there with us regardless of where we are, we begin to realize that we can fully put our trust in our creator. We can let him and him alone be our guide. When we're facing all of that craziness and we're trying to find the path that goes right straight through, then we can find our trust only in Hashem. And that should make us smile. It should give us a smile because we know that in our distresses and in our successes, it's Hashem's name that is praised. And that should make us truly, truly, truly happy. So I hope you guys will put on a big smile today. And that in that big smile, you'll see the Creator's smile. That you'd smile at Him and that He would smile back at you and you would just be completely joyous. I would love to see that the knowledge of the Creator, our Father, that you have the, the, the knowledge to realize that He is right there with you, regardless of if it's uh, distress or success. <laughs> so let's take our distress and realize that it is a success because in those distresses, we are calling Him. When it gets really, really tough, it's a time that we actually call out to the one who has all of the capacity, all of the resources, all of the love, all of the kindness. And may he speedily and soon get rid of all of our struggles, all of our problems, the things that we face that they, a lot of times all, they can, all we can do is give a sigh. But that sigh is a help. And it's a help from the Creator. May we soon and in our days see a complete and full redemption and all success away from from the problems. No distress, only success. Have a great day, my friends. And smile.